Hello everyone, and welcome to this series about IPython Notebooks. It's an interactive development environment, and this is the first part. Uh, it's about uh, notebooks and cells. Um, once you start an IPython uh, Notebook instance or server, you get a screen similar to this where you can um, view all your notebooks or start a new one. You can have multiple um, folders with um, other notebooks to organize your work. You can uh, browse back to your main folder. Uh, you can uh, check uh, your running instances from the second tab running. And the last um, tab, um, you can um, activate your um, power computing uh, clusters uh, for IPython. Um, and, um, in this tutorial, uh, we'll uh, be covering the basics of uh, notebooks and um, cells. So uh, notebooks are basically uh, documents representing all your input and output operations. This includes um, uh, code text input and numerical text rich uh, media output like charts and audio or video. Um, these files have um, uh, IP uh, YMB extensions that uh, stands for IPython Notebook. Um, everything in an IPython Notebook is a cell. So th uh, this document that we're looking at is an IPython Notebook and each one of these uh, are cells. Um, we have the... Um, we can add the new cells by um, clicking on insert new cell. A new cell by default is a code um, cell. So we can um, change the type of uh, a cell from here. We can choose it to be markdown, draw, MB convert, or uh, one level of uh, heading from one to six. Um, let's cut this out. Uh, so um, starting by uh, markdown cells, uh, this is a markdown cell actually. Uh, it, uh, it can contain uh, markdown language like that and it will render into this bold and italic uh, we can have uh, HTML code and it will render just fine and we can have latex um, code and it will just render uh, like uh, this section um, you can uh, check the code inside a markdown cell by double clicking on it and you can render it back by hitting shift enter uh, so you get back to the rendered view of the cell um, we have code cells uh, this might uh, contain uh, uh, python code or ipython magic python code can be 3 plus 5 equals 8 if we have multiple uh, operations um, all returning values and we execute that cell we'll only get the last result uh, the result of the last line from that cell. So this will return only 8, which is 3 plus 5. It will not return 1 plus 2. Um, we can have more code in here. X uh, equals 1, Y equals 2. Uh, we're returning uh, X plus Y, that's 3. Um, in here, if we deleted this line first, if we executed this, we're basically assigning x plus y, which is 3, to z. But that does not return anything. It's just an assignment uh, statement, assigning this value to this variable. So it will not return anything. So usually when you have something like this, we want to and we want to um, see the value, we'll just add the variable in the last line, which will return the value. If we have the variable at the last line for some reason, but we don't want the value, we can suppress output by adding a semicolon and that will suppress the output of um, this cell uh, ipython magic we'll discuss ipython magic uh, codes like this as uh, we go through this tutorial so we'll uh, look at bash now um, this will mm, this um, code of uh, ipython magic will turn this cell into a um, a terminal or a bash script um, cell so we can have any commands like ls we can we're echoing something here we're um, adding a new file we're listing again we're echoing something here and removing the file so let's see that it's uh, listing all files in the directory 
creating a new file we can see the new file then finally deleting the new file uh, the second type of um, cells we uh, the third type of cells we have is um, raw and be uh, uh, convert um, it will not render anything in it so if you try to render this it will not render anything it will keep marked down HTML and latex the way it is but the problem with it if you are sharing this in an uh, open um, uh, in an open source uh, way through MB viewer this will render some HTML and latex code it doesn't render most um, markdown code but it will render HTML and latex so you cannot show your formula uh, through MB viewer with uh, an MB uh, a raw MB convert uh, cell um, finally we have uh, heading cells we use those to uh, add chapters sections and uh, categorize our work um, the good thing about um, these are you can add um, they, they all have uh, bookmarks so you can add a link to a specific header within your uh, notebook so you can direct someone to see for example this um, so his um, browser will take him to a certain uh, heading within your notebook if you want to refer someone to uh, um, a heading within your notebook from within your notebook you just add um, the header name uh, as a bookmark like this uh, if you want an absolute link you can add an absolute link with a heading at the end as a um, bookmark uh, URL um, this uh, lesson is available um, uh, open source on github and it's viewable like this on MB viewer so you will see the um, link uh, down in the description where you have um, this document as a reference if you need it um, thank you for watching and if you like this i hope you subscribe and you see the next uh, part about markdown and latex thank you for watching